mic is rolling. Camera is rolling. Well, technically do, but the only two things. Stop. Chest. I don't hear any. It's, oh, it's over there. It's rolling. I keep thinking it's over there. Mic that's, is rolling. That's Camera the boom mic. Rolling. rolling. Okay, yeah. so. Hello everyone, this is Mike Check95 along with my cohorts Orphan Joker and Bugs and And we are here for another Mike Check Productions Mike Check Movie Review. Before we get into the movie we reviewed, if you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. We have other projects going on. We will show on the video up here if I can figure out technology. And to Look, I'm a movie. move on from all that bibbity bobbity boop we reviewed a film called The Experiment. This this movie was recommended by Krieger Margin here several times, probably over the past like two years. I guess since the movie was requested and suggested by Krieger Margin, I feel like Krieger Margin should go first and see this is not his first time watching this film. Bugs, what did you think? <laughs> Loosely meaning don't even look up the experiment, just throw it out the window and just watch the movie like it's its own thing. Like, um, like a cowboy that's really bad at tying, like, loops. <laughs> yeah. To very, it. very loose. Very loose. <laughs> um, so, uh, but it is a great, great, like, premise that they go with, and I love the actors in it, I love the, the, the way that they escalate things, the, the misdirection where they think one thing, and then it turns out later that it's not, you can tell. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep my part kind of short because I think you guys are gonna talk more about this stuff. This is eight point five for me. Uh, it's one of my more favorite films. It is older, so like I could see how somebody's like, eh, but it's it's really good. I liked it when it, it's it has it hasn't aged bad for me. Um, the way it is, um, acting's good, story's good, it has a good clean ending. Um, I can't really say a whole lot of negative things. Do, 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 do. Science time with Josh. It, you can't say that psychology isn't science. It is social science. It is my minor in school. That doesn't make me an expert. This movie, in my opinion, as a movie, is really good. When I say really good, it's not a great movie, but it's a really good movie because like, it has good, good cinema. The zoomed-in camera, you get to see the night photos, you get to see different angles, and then there's actual... like. As if you're a human, just like regular movie, not like recorded aspect. And so the different angles, the cinematography in this, it, it has sort of a dark theme in there, but it's it's very much like the the inside lighting, no windows aspect, different people. I really like the cinematography in here. The dialogue in this movie, I really like. The not just the banter back and forth between the people, but the the freeness in the people. It's it's these people are originally not crazy. And as the description says, it's, you know, these people slowly going into madness, and then at the very end, really like the whole reveal, oh shit, we're in a cornfield, why the fuck did we do this crazy stuff? The acting, not just the banter, but the things that they said and the way the actors portrayed themselves, slowly going mad and interacting in a certain way or switching from side to side or, you know, becoming a little edgy is really good. But then also the... the the cute aspect. When I say cute, I don't mean like, oh, puppies. Cute as in, like, the naiveness of it. The, 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 the not realizing that you know, people can go south if they really wanted to. The actors portrayed it very well throughout because they're like, oh, look at you, you're a guard, I'm going to listen. But then it's like, oh, snap. You know, bad things happen. And then immediately go back to, you know, oh, remember, guys, this is just for money. That aspect. And so seeing the story and the way the actors interacted with each other in a very not real but very you know in the story in the mood the way that it's supposed to fall out makes this movie very cohesive it's not there's no break in character there's no choppy lines that don't make any sense there's no interaction that feels cheesy or over pushed or over act it feels very flowy this movie also has story story is not something i usually talk about 
because stories usually, you know, they're not great. Um, this movie has great story because it starts with simple guy, you know, loses his job, trying to protest, but he's protesting military, which I think may be having to do with why the country's money, you know, money spent on our troops, troops come back, if they come back, we can keep our jobs, this fighting attitude, boss says, get away, finds a girl, says, get away, I'll get away, and he says, well, I need money, he says, experiment, what's the experiment, and you get to see this character's development over time, the story of not just this character, but the way the other characters interact. This is a great story because at no point does it feel like they're pushing some. They're not pushing an initiative. They're not pushing any kind of a thing. It wasn't like black people versus white people. It wasn't good versus bad. It wasn't uh, maybe slightly, you know, the underdog versus the man. But they didn't push that like in other movies. Very small things to connect with. Yeah. They're technically referencing MK Ultra at the end whenever they said that the people that were doing the experiment were connected with the government. Yes. But what I mean is it's not like a 1984 against the man or a, you yeah, know... I think this takes place in 72. Hmm? The original experiment took place in 72, right? Well, I don't know what this experiment was taking place in. They had this very, is where... It's something is, else. It has very high-tech cameras, so discussionary-wise, oh. I would imagine it was quite recent. For editing purposes, this is when the experiment took place. Continue. Most beautiful line why this movie's a good movie. Not a great movie, but it's a good movie, is is the line So, do you still think we're monkeys? It says, No. Because we have something that we can do this differently. We can do something about it. And that that is a fundamental understanding in human beings and that brings us together. Because it's it's true amongst a thousand things. It's the same reason the Civil War was called the Civil War, because they were civil. There's a story about both sides singing across a river, the same song. One side starts, the other side joins in, and they sing the song. And in the morning, they get up and kill each other. It's because we as humans fundamentally are different. We can do something about it. We know that we can do terrible things, but we also know we can do things about the terrible things that we do. We can hold people to justice, and we can hold ourselves to a higher standard than just plain animals. And I love that aspect, and that's what makes this a great movie. And that is why I'm going to give this movie hmm, a solid 9. I'd like to give it a 9.5, but I don't think I've given good movies over a 9. There's some great movies out there that I give more, so it's solid nine. I agree with a lot of the points Josh said, and a lot of the stuff that is coming up in my mind may not make a lot of sense to you guys, but, like, I like this movie a lot, too, and I'm actually glad that I actually was able to finally sit down and watch this film because, for one, Krieger has begged me, well, not really begged me, but, like, was kind of like, hey, we should watch it. Hey, hey, we should watch it. Um, it kind of really opened my eyes about, like, like who you should really like lay your trust on like well a lot of like a lot of like mo like morality and like mor morals come in with this film when it came to me because the person that I am I'm all about like trusting people and like who to trust who to not to trust and kind of like reading people and everything and this film really tapped into that part of my brain and whatnot and that because you never know the way. Well, you also never know the way people are going to be in certain situations. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Example, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're buddy buddy before they went in, and they're on mm -hmm. opposite sides, and then they're just pure enemies. This movie's based off preservation. It's like both all these people need the, the money, basis, and the money is a lot of money back in the day. Yeah. And so, if it's set in the same time period, it's a lot of money back in the day, and these people are doing fucked up things because they all want the money. And it doesn't mean that the money has to be evil am, in a am sense. I, am I still crazy to think that that amount of money back then is still a lot of money in my mind today? That was one thing. Oh, no. It's very much a lot of money yeah. today. That's why I wanted to know the time period of this it's when the movie's I'm pretty, placed. I'm, I'm fairly positive it's supposed to take place at the time of the, uh, of the, in the 72. Mm -hmm. Of course, the cameras might look a little advanced. But they still have cameras back then. Yes. So. I mean, it was advanced, but it was just... It's just it may be high-tech high tech, uh, plot armor, high-tech US, US government, government stuff. Even MK back in the Ultra. 70s. This is MKUltra. Mm. Yes. 
I can't really say much about it because, I mean, both these guys pretty much took all my points and threw it on the table. Um, we, we didn't talk about uh, the, the best part of the movie. Yeah, we're leaving it Forrest, for you. Forrest Whitaker's uh, excitement. Mm. <laughs> okay, so to kind of explain that, you kind of explained that when I was in the bathroom. My version of it, to kind of dumb it down, is that like it wasn't a sexual arousal or whatever because there actually are some people who get that kind of excitement from getting from 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 like experiencing that much power. You also have to think about it's it. not about sexual like arousal; it's about like oh, I got this power. <laughs> you, well, you like also, awkward boner. It's not just it's not just because not really the power. It's the fact that he's never really had power in his life. And so he feels empowered. Yeah, and he's so suppressed, and you could tell by the way he socially interacted yeah. with everybody. So like, be, whenever he was buddy buddy with uh, Adrian Brody or whatever, mm-hmm. he, whenever he walked up, he would, you know, he kind of talked to him a little before. He was like, "Oh, th- th- thankfully you're here. I have somebody to talk to." So you know, growing up, he was he was probably you know he said he was in the Boy Scouts and and he did a lot of this uniform stuff because he wasn't very good socially and he didn't really have a dominant personality. Mm-hmm. So this time now he's one of the cool kids he's the one that's everyone else kind of looking up to him at that rate so he's just like arousal is a desired thing and so is power which made you guys more uncomfortable that or the rape scene the rape scene because it doesn't have to go uh, in the movie which is why this movie's only enough are we talking about the rape scene I can't remember the character's name I'm I'm, I'm only gonna call I'm only gonna okay Chase Chase. the the rape scene with Chase the raper man yeah, the the rapey guy. I don't know. The I mean, side note. There's that only actor, one rapey guy. Side note: that actor plays really good douchebags, and he's really good at making you hating him. Continue. Yes. <laughs> but I think any rape scene is usually pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. I think that was why they put they put it in there because it was right at the moment where that guy, you know, that guy had done other things, but he had never done something up until that point. No, that, that deserved him literally being punched the fuck out. And throughout the whole experiment, it, it did show a good, like, fr- through and through uh, humanity. Exactly. Yes. Mor- morality, that was, humanity. That's why it is a good film. Yes. Yeah. I'm not saying that your rating was too high, because, like, I, I understand your rating. Like, you yes. love the movie for what it is. My yeah. rating will have to be the same as Krieger's, eight and a half. Because, like, okay... Typically, this film is not the kind of movie I would, like, go into, like, oh, fuck, yes, exciting, yeah, wada, yada, wada, wada. But yeah. it's just the message, the, the the morality, the humanity, like, all, like, the other stuff inside of the movie is what wrapped me into it. Oh, like, I went into this just kind of like, oh, it's just an experiment. And then I was like, wait a second. There's more to it. So that's why I'm like, it's eight and a half. I loved it. I mean... I mean, I'm surprised how good it was. And my final note for this film is that this is not the last time we will see Adrian Brody in a movie that we're going to review. Mm-hmm. Let's just say, this movie was so good, halfway through, I forgot what talking was. I don't believe you. This is my chick, 95, with my cohorts. Bugs. He's over there somewhere. And your mother. You did not cook your dog. And scene. I wasn't done closing the video. Goodbye, close the video. Krieger Martin one. Well, and he's our... leaving. He's signing out. We're continuing. Like I said, if you like this video and stay throughout the entire the end of the video, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends, follow our follow our other projects going on, and we are signing out. Till next time.